What's up guys, it's Hair Jordan. I'm hanging out today with Daniel X. Miller. What's up everybody? We're both from Indiana. Both from Cornfields. That's right, we are. We grew up like 30 minutes away from each other. Not even kidding. Yeah. We just met too. We just did a video on Daniel's channel. It was pretty fun. Click on the thing to click to watch the video <laughs> and, uh, and check that out. So today's video is I'm gonna be asking him some questions that gay guys die to know about straight guys. And you have to answer truthfully. Of course, of course. <laughs> oh wow, you have the better question. I do. When did you know that you were straight? <laughs> what the heck? Why did they not ask that to you? That's like a basic, when did you know you were gay? Like, duh. When did I know I was straight? I have no idea. You've always been straight. Like, girls. You know, actually, I have one question. I was wondering, did you ever go through, like, a curious phase? Um, only because of other people talking about it. Yeah. Was like, huh, I wonder if I am. Yeah. But that was, like, pretty much the extent. There's, like, a secret. Like, I experimented with a lot of straight guys when I was going through high school. And then, like, now they're married and have kids. So, I don't know if, like, every guy does that. Or just... I never did. Um, <clears throat> this is funny. Are your parents comfortable with your lifestyle? No. Not because I'm straight. But no. Mine are not either. They're okay. We just don't talk about it. Um, Indiana parents, man. I guess I'm kind of like, which one of you thought the saying, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, was cute? Oh, um, like which straight person thought that was a cute thing to say? Cute to say that? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the first time I heard it, I was like, <laughs> it's not like I go around saying that. Yeah, I haven't heard that since freaking eighth grade. Yeah, exactly. It's like a junior high thing you say. You're like, <laughs> it's you know, Adam and Eve. It rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get upset when someone refers to you as their straight best friend? Nobody refers to me as their straight best friend. So you're saying you don't have gay friends? Ooh. Um, how does it feel to make out in public without being gawked at? What yeah. the fuck? Is you guys are so lucky. Dude, I can't even walk in public without getting gawked at. Let alone oh, try okay. to make moves. I guess so. Yeah, but you can like hold hands with your girl. I don't feel like that question applies to me in any sense, because I do get gawked at. Yeah, but it's not because you're, you know, straight. Maybe if I'm, no it's not. <clears throat> people don't even think I'm straight. Maybe if I moved to Los Angeles it would be different. Yeah, if you're in LA, people don't care. I still live in Indiana. Get out of there. I got out when I was 18, Ooh. never looked back. How does it feel to have such a large dating pool? Y'all, it feels good. You have so many girls to pick from. Like, gay guys are like 10%, and then we like, don't have anything to pick from. Don't get mad, but is it insensitive of me to think you're just going through a straight phase? I w no, I wouldn't call that insensitive. I would call that maybe uh, hopeful or wishful thinking. Hopeful. Ulterior motive. I mean, you wouldn't really say that to somebody unless you were interested in them, would you? Probably not. I wouldn't. But every, every straight guy says I'm going through a gay phase. Oh, do people say that a lot? Mm -hmm. Well, they used to not anymore. It's just a phase. It's just an emo phase. My dad probably still thinks it. Son, when are you gonna get that wife? I'm like, never. Is, he, is your dad a farmer? No. My girlfriend thinks I'm still in my emo phase. Really? Yeah. You're not. So, I don't know if this applies to you, but a lot of straight people think that gay guys will destroy the sanctity of marriage. That's, that's tough. Honestly, I think it's kind of a weird issue. Yeah. What's the sanctity of marriage? It's not a traditional family. Family. You know, obviously, it's not like two people having popping out kids themselves, you know what I mean? Yeah, gay guys can't have kids. And so I think that's the issue with a lot of people is it's just like different yeah. than the norm. I always wondered if I would want to, I mean, I definitely would like to have kids, but I always wondered like if the child would be upset that he didn't have a mom. I wanted kids, but I wouldn't have them just for that reason. How are you gonna knock it if you haven't even tried it? I'm not knocking anything. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll leave it at that. If straight people hate gay people so much, why do y'all keep having gay babies? <laughs> That's really funny. What scares you most about gay people? Mm, I don't think I'm scared of gay people. Yeah. Like, do I have to pick something? Otherwise you wouldn't be sitting here. Yeah. <laughs> um, is there anything about gay guys that infuriates you at all? Just gay people in general, no. Do you sometimes wish you were gay? No. Nope, what about gay. having like the perks of being gay? What are the perks? So like, we get to like skip the line, people pick us as favorites. We talk know. about skip the line. Oh, that was a joke. Oh, I can get it. So like, people pick us as like favorites. I think people <laughs> are drawn to gay people more. Yeah, it seems like it. That makes sense. Now, I feel like for me, like I act gay now that people think. <laughs> That if people are drawn to me about the same because yeah. some of my tendencies Oh, are, that makes sense. But no, I don't wish I was gay. If I was, I would just do whatever the fuck 
I wanted to do. How would you feel if, as a consenting adult, someone told you that the way you led your life was wrong? That's a good question. I mean, people kind of already think that about me. Whatever. You gotta do your thing and not let it bother you. I mean, what is it? How is it for you? The thing is, you can't please everybody, so no matter what, no matter if, if I was straight, someone would still find something to say something negative about me. That's true. Good work. <laughs> These are like kind of funny, like stupid. Do you ever think we'll get to a point in time where there are no straight people? <laughs> uh, no. That would have to be pretty extreme to be no straight people at all. That Unless there was like a civil war. Like, like, like all the straight people died. Like the gay people killed off the straight <laughs> yeah. people. And what is the gay agenda actually? Everyone's always like, you have a gay agenda. I don't really know what that means, but I don't think there is one. It's not like gay people have to take over the world or anything. I think most most people are just living their life, trying to do the best they can and be happy, you know? Yeah, we are gonna take over the world. <laughs> all right, that's all the questions. So yeah, we did a video on Daniel's channel and uh, there's a link. It's the reverse. So you ask me questions straight guys love to know about gay guys. That's right, and we had a good talk. It's a good talk. So you should go check it out on his channel and subscribe to him. He's got some cool stuff, plus he's got a six pack. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Right. Bye. Bye.